What's going on there folks? Good evening once again. Uh, Earthmaster here on this beautiful Wednesday evening, August 25th, 2021 to date about 8.45 p.m. West Coast time. And what do we got coming into the Earthquake 3D globe? Could you see another earthquake up here? Almost a six pointer, a 5.9 earthquake. Uh, earlier I was talking about in my update video with all this earthquake activity ramping up here and the quietness well, at least in the northern part of the South Sandwich Islands plate, uh, I, I was kind of calling for an upper six. I still think that's very possible. Uh, we're still seeing some further movement at the southern end of this plate here. The uh, Actually, it's a little bit higher. Last night, and uh, uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Let, let me bring it back a couple days here. You can see, well, this is probably too many, but a lot of the earthquake activity kind of quieted down up here to the north. We're looking at, for the most part, larger movement down here in the south. But over the last um, over the last 24 hours, we've seen pressure kind of spread itself out here uh, within this region of the subduction zone, the South Sandwich Trench. And now, uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, looks well, it looks like uh, about 20 minutes ago, USGS is always slow. Um, that 5.9 almost six pointer came into this area of the South Sandwich Trench. So uh, definitely heightened earthquake activity uh, globally. For the most part, we just had a uh, 4.8 over around the, um, not for sure why they have this set at Japan. Huh. It looks pretty close to uh, Taiwan, right? <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, 118 kilometers for this 4.8. Wow. Okay. That that's just kind of what? Hmm. All right. Anyway, watching some global earthquake activity ramp up here, folks. West coast uh, looking pretty active as well. Intermountain West regions. I did want to check out the tremor map because we talked about that earlier in the update video. Um, a lot of bit of a lot of movement into the uh, Seattle area, into parts of uh, Salem and also Northern California. We're looking at uh, 122 epicenters of tremor taking place in this area along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, that could be why we're seeing quite a bit of movement into parts of Northern California at relatively deep levels, and the return of deep movement into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Seen that 2.1 strike there a little bit earlier. So uh, increase in pressure along the west coast. It's always a good sign to be, uh, always a good time to be prepared when we see that tremor activity ramp up like that. Um, so Puerto Rico kicking up as well. Uh, just a lot of movement globally, folks. Uh, all the Hawaiian activity, uh, volcanic activity, including a, uh, an earthquake over here around the Greenland area, southern tip, looks like. 4.5 at 10 kilometers. Lots of movement taking place, folks. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, trimmer real quick or the uh, Yellowstone thumbnails. I don't see a whole lot of movement on there. We did check that out earlier and there's no new one, uh, nothing really new to report. So um, yeah, just be prepared, folks. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening right now on this planet. Uh, and I think we're looking forward to uh, something coming here relatively soon I gotta jump off here because I have my nephew uh, tonight and uh, I heard him call my name just a minute ago so I gotta go and uh, see what he's doing but I uh, wanted to jump in and uh, uh, shout out this uh, 5.9 almost six pointer down here in the South Sandwich Islands once again a lot of movement folks that's some big time movement that we've seen over the past couple weeks in that area a lot of movement. Stay safe out there, folks. Be prepared. We'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Uh, unless we see something tonight, then you'll, you'll, you'll probably hear from me. If you don't hear from me and the stream goes down and something happens here on the West Coast, then that means, uh, that means I'm in trouble out here. So send help. <laughs> Have a good night, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.